Welcome to the model of the ear. One of the things you might notice first off is the portion of the external ear. The external ear is referred to as the auricle, the auricle. Sometimes we refer to this area as the pinna. The external auditory canal travels through the temporal bone. The outer ear is composed of the auricle and the external auditory canal the external auditory canal. The external ear ends at a structure called the tympanic membrane. Colloquially, this is called the eardrum. In anatomy, we want to call this the tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane is going to vibrate as sound waves enter the ear through the external auditory canal. The middle ear is composed of the three Ear ossicles. Ossicles means little bones. In this model, I can take out the tympanic membrane and I can see the structures more clearly. So keep in mind that the tympanic membrane is actually the border between the external ear and the middle ear. The structures of the middle ear are going to include the opening to the eustachian tube, which I'll show you in a moment, and the three ossicles. So let me show you what those ossicles are. One of the ossicles is attached to the structures of the inner ear. The other two are attached to the tympanic membrane. The three ossicles are called the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. The order in which these ossicles go is MIS. So you want to make sure you don't miss the question. First bone that is attached to the tympanic membrane directly is the malleus, the malleus. The malleus is then attached to the incus. And here at 10, this portion of the incus is going to make contact with the stapes. So this is the stapes. The stapes is part of the middle ear. Everything else that we see here is part of the internal ear or inner ear. The stapes is connected to the oval window. The base of this structure here, called the vestibule, we have another window. 16, we have the round window. The round window, this structure is called the cochlea. So the information from the cochlea is then sent through the vestibulocochlear nerve, and that is then going to go to the brain for a perception. Semicircular canals. We have three of them. We've got the anterior, posterior, and lateral semicircular canals. And each one of these is in a different plane of orientation.